we require a little bit of correction here and there in our own lives. A little bit of strength to do the right thing. My brothers and sisters, you know where you need adjustment in order to become a better version of yourself. Let today be the day. Let today be the day. May Allah help us to change and do the right things. There is a woman online. I forget her name. Non-Muslim. She's still not a Muslim. Allah will bring her. Amen. She is a magician, according to her. What does she do? Black magic. And all sorts of casting of spells and so on for people. I want to tell you, it is prohibited as a believer to cast a spell. Man sahara faqad ashrak. The Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, says, whoever casts a spell has associated partners with Allah. They've engaged in the highest possible sin. That's it. You're not allowed to do that. Another thing, if you go to someone to do that for you, it's the same thing. A lot of people go nowadays to, what do they call him? Bomo. Wow. These bomos will bomo your whole life. <laughs> and the first thing they bomb is your iman. It is bomot. Don't. By you going to them, you lost your faith. Remember, you have to repeat your shahada. Wallahi, it's not a joke. Man ata arrafan aw kahinan fasaddaqahu bima akhbar faqad kafara ala bima unzila ala Muhammad. Sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Whoever goes to a soothsayer, a fortune teller, etc., etc., those people who do this type of thing, believes them regarding what they are saying, has disbelieved in what Muhammad, peace be upon him, brought. Disbelief. So you've been there, say your shahada again. Start afresh. Don't ever, don't ever have the urge to go and cast a spell, to go to someone or to cast a spell yourself or to learn about it, Harry Potter or whatever else it may be. <laughs> You're a believer. This lady was asked a question and the interview is online. It's on YouTube. You can go and search it. Is there ever people you try to cast a spell on and you can't? It's difficult. She said, yes, there is. Tell us about it. She says, the Muslims who pray five times a day. And this is a non-Muslim. What did she say? She said, the Muslims who are steadfast, it's as though they have a dome of protection around them. Wallahi, these are her words. When I heard it, I said, subhanallah, I forwarded that message, that video to so many people. Here's a lady sitting in an interview telling the interviewer about how she casts spells. And it's a long interview, one and a half hours, I think. And inside, there's a five minutes where she speaks about this question. Is there ever a time when you can't really do this? You can't cast a spell? She said, yes, those who believe. Why? She said, you know what? The Muslims, they pray so many times a day. There's actually like a dome around them. She calls it the agrigo. The, the agrigo is very, very high. You can't really hit them. What happened? It's Ayatul Kursi, my brothers, my sisters. I believe in Allah. It's Ayatul Kursi. And it's the Mu'awwidat, the last few surahs of the Quran. Are we not taught to read it in the morning and the evening? The disbelievers are bearing witness. Where are we? May Allah protect all of us. We have a few problems in society. I already mentioned about magic and going to people and casting spells. But there is another bigger problem. What is the bigger problem? Accusing innocent people of witchcraft. That's a massive problem also. Something happened, you said, no, but this person did. No, no, no. Don't accuse someone without proper evidence because shaitan is just telling you it's that person. It's that person. It's that person. In order to break relations with innocent people, they are not the guilty ones. Mostly they are innocent. May Allah Almighty protect us all.